presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to our man, Al in Homo Sasa. What's going on, brother? It's, isn't it wonderful? I went ahead and invested in your uh, Tiger Dollars, <laughs> and I went ahead and got the gold report <laughs> for a year, and, and also your, morning, your, your call letter and stuff like that. Like that and I got over a fifty percent return in one day, not counting uh, everything else. But I just want to thank you. Tom's not perfect, but he tells you how to put your stops in, and he keeps your losses small. You can take your small losses, but then all of a sudden you'll be like Dave Root, and you'll hit a home run. I mean, a big home run. Yeah. And put the money in your pocket. Okay, I mean, brother. I You're awesome, man. Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. To begin a great relationship, know what you want. Know what the needs of your mind, of needs of your body are, what the needs of your mind are, and what fits well with you. There are millions of men and women, and some will make a good match for you, and others won't. The two of you only need to be like a key in a lock, a match that works. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading down 503. You get the Nasdaq off 268, S&P's off 73, gold contract down seven dollars twenty cents, trading out at 18.29 an ounce. We had silver down nine cents, twenty-three dollars twenty-five cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up twenty-six cents, trading at eighty-nine ninety-three. You get the notes and bonds. Ten-year note down a full point plus one tick, one twenty-five twenty-two. Thirty-year bond down a full point plus twenty-six ticks. And remember, there's thirty-two ticks in a point, folks. You're at one fifty-one fifteen. And King Dollar, King Dollar is uh, da is up forty-two ticks, trading ninety-five five thirty-six. Euro is at 114, yen is at 115.95, and the British pound is at 135 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want we'll to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. Let's bring up the futures and see where we're going to go this last hour, folks. We have had a heck of a day out here. Bottom line, you had the hot CPI come out. At, I don't know why they even said it's hot. I mean... It committed 7.5%. If you know, we're, we're running monster numbers out here in the CPI, folks. Okay, what, what is really evident right now, uh, for sure, is that market participants um, definitely don't uh, really understand the bond market, and, and I can see why, actually, because you know, when I look back, that. <laughs> The last time that we really had inflation, there's not a lot of participants that were around when we had inflation. You know, so the bottom line is that these rates are going to go up and they're going to go up a lot further than the market thinks right now. You know, because this whole deal about transitory, about 2 percent, um, you know, bottom line, that's going to be quite some time. And then now the wrap is that, OK, that the supply chain is, you know, maybe coming down a little and. All the citizens are not going to buy as many goods. They're going to go to services. Well, guess what, folks? Services are going up, too. Everything's going up. Why? Because everyone needs more money. It's that simple. Inflation is in the economy in a monster way. Okay. Now, let's, let's go take a look at this S&P. So, let's see what we got here. Okay. So, we open. We get that first leg down. goes to 45.12. Um, then we came all the way back up, almost hit the high, and then gave it up again in spades. So let's see where we are right now. So, last time, well, there we go. Okay, so here's, here's the good news, 45.32. We're at 45.09, you can see 45.32 before the close. When you look at this, see when you look at this 10 bar, 10 minute bar, you came down, the, we came down, that bar there has 94,000. You came into it with 30, with 50,000. That's not enough. And when you, when, you, when you take out a bar, 
You have that much contraction in volume, folks. That's a spike lower. That's what the, the markets love to spike lower and spike higher. After they do that, they clean the market out and higher you go. And where I'm going with higher you go is the last place that we had volume on the way down, and that's 45.32. So it's just 20 points higher. So we'll see if the uh, s and is down like 44 bucks by the time we, we finish out here. That's on your uh, e ES Mini. NDX 100. We take a look at the NDX. That's trading down 282 right now. Let's see what she's doing. Okay, so. Oh, this is nice. Okay, so first leg down. Get that there. Okay, first leg down. We get to 14721. 41,000, we broke out. We come into that with 17. We come into that with 14. Same deal. Okay, so ND NDX, here's the number. Right there. NDX, what's that? 14,813. So that's uh, 40, 50, 51 points higher. We'll see how this whole thing shakes out. Gold, gold contract out here, um, you know, did exactly what the market did. Came down first, came down to 1821, as soon as that number came out. Went back top side to 1843. Right now you're laying out here at 1830. What I like about this, okay, bottom line, we finally got volume in the market, in the gold market. And what you have, uh, the question would be like, hold it, man, you haven't gone anywhere. Well, we actually have gone somewhere, folks, okay? You got over the highs and we have volume. That's what you're looking for. That's what I'm always looking for. If we go to the uh, good old King Dollar, we take a look at King Dollar. What you're gonna see with King Dollar out here, King Dollar right now is down, uh, is up 30 ticks. But you can see King Dollar made it all the way to 96. 602, couldn't hold price. This is telling me that we got a nice big ABC structure on the way down. This is gonna be really intriguing, um, you know, how this baby comes because, um, you know, I expect, that you are gonna see these rates go higher and faster than people think. That being said, the bottom line is that it's not the end of the world. Uh, it, it will be, and you know, things are gonna be more expensive if in fact you are borrowing money. There's no two ways about that. Now, let's go take a look at the generic 10 year. And the reason I wanna do the generic, this is what ends up happening, folks, okay? Is that this way we can pull this back and we can see where this 10 year wants to go. Because there's two different areas that I was looking at out here at the 10-year. Uh, the first area looks to me the probability is pretty valid. It's a ABC structure down at 124. But you remember many times that I talk about that markets don't stop in the middle of staircases, folks, okay? So that's telling me, guess what, man? You're going down to 117 here. It's going to be a big number on the way down. So it's going to have support at uh, 122. But 117 is game. That's, that's the bottom line. 117 is game inside of that 10 year. Right now it's 2.02 .02 and you know, we'll see. Um, and, the, and the Fed, you know, bottom line, I, I, I can't understand why actually that folks actually think that you can get rid of inflation so quick. I mean, it, just, it doesn't just disappear. Stay right there folks, come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500 plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now Dow trading down 470. You get the NASDAQ off 252. S&Ps are off uh, 70. Uh, look at this, folks. Okay, this is pretty intense. Now, this was intraday. Uh, a firm holdings, okay? This is about as intense as you can get. Not sure, like, where this whole thing went, but when you get a shaky market like this, this is telling you quite a bit. This is telling you that there were no bids even under the market. So the low for the year is the firm is $46. The high is 176. Right now, it's only down $9, but wait till you see this chart. This thing went to $50 as soon as... Um, just when Dave was getting off the air, because Dave gave us a flag inside the Tiger's Den. So you went from $83, and you went down to $50, and the, mo the, va the, the volume was monster, folks. The volume was $8.8 .8 million on a 10-minute bar. So what that is, watch this. Let me see if I can find this trade. There she is, right here. So look at this, folks. Whoever was getting out of this trade did not care what the price was. See those two trades right there? Hundred and, uh, well, here, it, it, they started out. Look at how they started out, man. 1506. Let me get this. 14, okay, so watch this. 1455 is military time, right? So bottom line, 255. 64,000 shares out at 69. 1502, 114,058. 1512, 158 at 60. Bottom line, in, in between this, you're going to see people get jammed out at that $50. With that, when that happens, folks, this is what ends up happening, is that you have someone that wants out of the market. They know that they are not going to have enough all the way down, and they just don't care. They want out of the market, you know. Uh, so we'll see what that's all about. But uh, let me pull that up again because one of the tigers, could it be forced selling? One second. Let me just see that. Because AFRM. So, yeah, I would say it isn't. The reason why I'm saying it isn't, this is what normally happens, okay? When you get a forced selling, I mean, this, 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 this equity was doing fine. Um, you know, that's the bottom line. I mean, it opened this morning at $75, went all the way up to 83 It was doing fine. Uh, whoever was uh, just basically doing that trade uh, has no clue as to liquidity. That's, but that happens, man. I've seen it happen many times. SMHs, let's go take a look at one of the SMHs for one of our Tigers out here. So the SMHs, the uh, uh, low is 216, the high is 318. 
It's trading 3, 280 right now. Now, the bottom line is that yesterday we had, this is a confirmed ABC structure on the way up. Uh, this tag is looking for a pullback as to where you're going to buy it. Um, so what, what happened here now is this. This is the, let's talk about this. This is a complex ABC structure now. And this is what a complex ABC structure means, folks, okay? That you took out a B point, and the point we took out was the uh, 380.55. That had 8 million shares. We took that out yesterday with 10 million. Now, what you need with a complex ABC structure is this, is that we'll go lower tomorrow, more than likely, and you want to see a contraction of volume. If that's what you get, that's a, that's a complex ABC structure. It has to go down on lighter volume. It'll recharge itself, then go after the B point once again. So if you're looking to get into this, I'd, I'd wait till this gets into like the 274. See what type of uh, volume you have as a 274. Um, you know, it's got the 280, what, 280 today. Uh, another six points is not the end of the world, uh, particularly if we're talking about the, uh, particularly if we're, we're talking about the, the aspect of uh, testing that, that lower line. Do we have Fred? Al? Okay, sorry. Now, folks, let's say we got a great guest for you out here today, folks. Okay, we got our man, Mr. Fred Ernest. You've heard Fred many times on TFNN. Fred is the CEO of Vista Gold Corporation. They have a huge development right now in Australia, the Mount Todd Project. Fred Ernest, welcome back to TFNN. Hey, it's great to be back with you. Thank you. A absolutely. So let's go through this. Uh, you know, I saw the press release come out last night. You know, uh, I have your feasibility study up. Uh, where do you want to start, Fred? Well, you know, this is a, this is a tremendous uh, achievement of a milestone for Vista. You know, I think some of the key highlights, Tom, are, uh, first of all, the, the significant increase in reserves. You know, the project yes. now has 7 million ounces of proven and probable reserves, a 19% increase from our last technical report. The costs are based on uh, quotes and price uh, price uh, estimates from the fourth quarter of uh, last year. I think that they fairly represent the uh, inflationary pressures that our industry has seen. And even with those, those costs, the, the project still demonstrates a, a very robust economic picture. Um, you know, we're, we're very pleased with the results of the feasibility study. Yes, and you know, it was interesting when I was going through the numbers there. Um, can you talk a little bit about the expectation of your cash costs and your all-in costs? Because they're, they're, they're very reasonable costs. Absolutely. You know, they're, they're higher than they were uh, three years ago. We're, we're subject to the inflationary pressures just like everyone else. But we've designed the project to take advantage of economies of scale. And, and second of all, we've, we've designed the project to be a community-based project. Unlike many Australian operations that are fly in, fly out, we've based this on being able to hire people locally. You know, we're just 30 minutes from a, a regional commerce center of, um, you know, 14,000 people. And so we, we won't have airfare, we won't have a camp, we won't have, uh, have the, uh, the expense of having a fourth crew in order to staff the operation. And, uh, you know, one of the things that, um, you know, has saved us on capital costs and, and, and it insulates us from, uh, from certain construction and operating risks is we've selected, uh, we made the decision to use a third party uh, to build, own and operate the power plant. And it comes with uh, just a modest increase in our power costs, but uh, it certainly gives us some distinct advantages on the capital cost side. Yeah, that's listen. You may not know it, Fred, but I build a lot of houses, right? And subbing something out is totally where it's at because the cost structure, folks. You know what the cost structure is. You, the, the payroll's totally different. That that is really a cool deal. Hey, let me ask you. This is really cool. So locally, you know, once this thing gets up and going, locally, um, this mining operation is going to be very really good for this local community. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, it's it's the concept when we approach government with the concept of a community based project, they were immediately all in. And I think that there will be some incentives given to us as we uh, make a definitive investment decision, because the idea of a locally based project is that is that income 
uh, you know, salaries paid stay in the territory. We're not paying salaries to be flown out to be spent in New South Wales or yes. Western Australia. So really some big advantages for the Northern Territory. Now, so what is the next step that you're going to, I mean, it looks to me that you have just about everything in place. Now, now you just got to entice some of these larger companies come in and take a look, right? Well, that's certainly that's certainly where our focus is turning. Uh, we are now focused on on the aspects of of increasing shareholder value, realizing value that's closer to the intrinsic value of of the project, and that will take place. Uh, you know, in the coming months, there will be announcements to inform the the public about what we're doing with that regard as we as we consider a broad range of of potential partners, um, structures obviously looking for the transaction that will create the most value for our shareholders. No doubt. And, you know, the return on investment, I mean, for gold mine, yeah, you know, this feasibility, study, that, that's a big return on investment, man. And it doesn't seem to me, I mean, you know, we're, we're what, 1850 on gold, but, you know, that's been a decent price for a long period of time, well, 1830. Um, but it seems like that return on investment is also a decent return on investment inside the mining business. Yeah, abs absolutely. You know, and I think that's 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 the demonstration of the the resilience uh, to the uh, the inflationary pressures, the robust nature of the project. You know, we we conservatively reported economics at a $1600 gold price, you know, on a sensitivity basis, you know, we report um, the economics at at an $1800 gold price and and at $1800 we have an NPV5 of 1 and a half billion dollars. Uh, an IRR of 26.7%, free cash flow or, or after tax cash flow of, of $2.1 billion over the first seven years of the project. You know, this is definitely capable of repaying capital, the capital investment and, and generating, you know, dividends for shareholders. And, you know, when you just brought up the aspect of the reserves going up, so can you just explain to the folks, like, I mean, there's, there's many folks out there, of course, like we have bull and bear markets, okay? Some folks think that, okay, gold's going to 1,500. Plenty of folks thinking 2,500 is the next number out here. So as the price, you know, goes up, my take is we're going up. I mean, we, we got inflation. I mean, it's, it's, it's a real simple deal out here, actually. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, uh, the, the market's kind of recognizing it out here. And I was, what I was talking about a little bit earlier, Fred, is that it looks like there's plenty of market participants weren't around the last bout of inflation, which would totally make sense because it was almost 50 years ago. Um, you know, so I can see that. Um, you know, that being said, though, when gold, let, let's just say gold's at 2,000 to 2,200. That brings all your numbers much higher, right? Absolutely. You know, in, in simple terms, for every $100 that the gold price changes, the net present value of the project at a 5% discount rate increases by $230 million. Wow. There's tremendous leverage to the gold price in Mount Todd. Right. And my understanding is that, as you just explained, that, you know, you're, you're in a local community. Um, everything's in place. Bottom line, you need a partner in order to get this thing good done. Is that where we stand right now? That's we believe that that's the best way to create value is to bring in a partner to work alongside of us in developing the project. Yeah, no, I, I can see that. It's it's totally where it's at because then you have the expertise, they have the cash. Uh, bottom line, um, there's plenty to divvy up. I can see that. There's no there's no doubt about that. Uh, well, listen, man, congratulations. This is hey. Let, so let me ask you. When did this start? Did this start with Jock? When when did this Mo Todd deal start? Because I, I met Jock so many years ago and the poor guy that had passed away that I then Mike is is it like ten or fifteen years? Or it's fifteen years? I I'm I'm sorry, ask the question again, Tom. Um it was Jock, right? That was the first CEO? That's Yeah, it. Jock Jock McGregor passed away in two thousand and four. And then Mike Richings led the company from two thousand and four yeah. to uh 2012. I joined Mike in 2006 and was appointed uh, the as the uh, CEO uh, in 2012. That time even goes faster than I think, man. Because I remember we were doing a show together, and I was right next to Jock, and we were both putting the rugs down. 2004. That's scary. That's 17 years ago, man. Yeah. Holy cow! Just like that, really fast. Well, listen, folks. 
Vista Trades on the NYSE under the symbol VGZ. Check it out. You know, he, Fred's got a great presentation. I had the presentation up here, but you just go over to VistaGold.com, hit that button, go through that vis, uh, presentation. And of course, Fred, congratulations. Uh, you've done a great job. Uh, it's always tough. You know, it, it's amazing. It's not like the oil business. The mining business takes a lot longer to get this thing done. Um, and you're, you're, you're almost to that finish line, man. <laughs> we're, we're, we're getting closer. It's, a, it's been a long, a long, long path. We're very pleased with where we're at today and think that, uh, you know, we're, we're well positioned to achieve our objectives of uh, unlocking tremendous value for shareholders. Right, because you don't have any debt either, right? We have no debt. Right. And, and what, what has happened, folks, I've followed this company a long time because I just, just said we were right next to each other years ago. Um, and they've always basically been very conservative, and you don't see that. Let me <laughs> in the mining business. <laughs> that's the that's the reality. You, you just don't see it. So it, it's pretty cool that uh, you can get a lot done uh, and still have a lot of bread in in the bank. You know, which we know you always need. You know, because we never know what's around the next corner. Well, listen, Fred. This has been a great one, safe one. Appreciate you having it on, and look look forward to having you on again. Very well. Thank you. Keep well. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Thank you. So that's Vista Gold, folks. Uh, Mount Todd, that's the project. Big project. Pretty cool. Um, you know, how this baby is, is shaking out. Long road. I can't believe that I met these guys in 2007. 2007 or 2004, I think he said, man. That's even crazy. Four, 16, 17, 18 years ago. 18 years from now, I'm going to be... 90, 89, man, oh, man. 877-927-6648. Okay, well, let's go back to this S&P. So uh, this S&P, the bottom didn't hold here. Let's see what we got volume-wise. So pull this baby up. Okay, so we have, let's see, 333. So you have three minutes into this bar. Yeah, there's not a lot of volume here, man. So you could get a rejection at any point. These are these 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 bars here, okay? Um, you know, they're coming down. There's just not enough juice in them, folks. You know, so you could get you could get a flip around here any second. Uh, the NQs, we take a look at the NQs. You're at three fifty eight. This so the. When we first got on the air, we were dealing with what? Oh, this is even crazier. One second. 240. Yeah, it's not a lot of volume here. It has a rejected lower price here, but you just don't have the juice uh, that, that is there. Let's take a look at some of the higher volume equities. And we get Uber down 246. Advanced Micro is down $7. Affirms the big one, down 16 Something's going on with that stock. Someone knows something on that stock. You don't dump 200,000 shares and not care what price you get, folks, okay? So there's something happening there. And the thing that blows my mind about that, that company anyway, Firm Holdings, if, if you don't know what it is, folks, okay, it's like whether you go on Amazon or all these you know, places right now, there's all these companies that you don't, they say, ah, you buy it now and you don't have to pay. Um, you know, bottom line is that, oh, uh, one of our tigers, Dan from Boston, is saying that Peloton's their number one customer. Oh, my God. I can't believe that someone could buy a $2,000 bike and you're going to put it on credit. That's insane. I mean, give me a break. Oh, man. Uh, anyway, you got NVIDIA off 10 bucks. You got, uh, let's see, Microsoft off 10 bucks. Let's pull up Microsoft, MSFT. Man, these, these are fast market moves, man. Yeah, so Microsoft, that wants to head to the lower end of its consolidation, too. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be tough to get below 293 right now. Yeah, we, that's, how, that's how we came off those, come off the low on the 26th. So we hit the low on the 24th, come off the lows on the 26th. Those, those numbers, those days there are going to be pretty tough to uh, take out. Let's go to Disney. So Disney last night came out with big numbers, man. Uh, Disney's still up 486, has volume behind the move, got back. No, not back in its larger range yet, but you come into swings and you come into swings with much more volume. So let's put this on a weekly. When we, when we did this yesterday, Disney was an ABC structure up. 
And, oh, this is nice. Look at that. You know what's happening here, folks? Oh, this would be cool if this is what it is. This is a reverse head and shoulders, man. If it is, you know, you get a little more, you know, downdraft on Disney. You have to wait out about 10 to 12 weeks. But that's what that is. And if that's what you get, it's 179 129 What's that, 50 bucks? So that you get uh, 230 What's the high? This is going to be cool looking out here. The high is 203 This is how this is set up. Now, what happens on head and shoulders, whether highs or lows, I don't like speculating on them, even though I just did, just because this one's so clean. That's, what, that's what's going on. The reason being is that what does happen is that you see quite a few of them all over the place. And because we've gone down, you know, I guess we'll see, see some more. But this is pretty, this is a nice clean one. I mean, that, that's a nice looking head, man. You can see that you came down, just you now we went back up the other side. Then this, if this chops around a bit, pulls back two or three points in the next couple of weeks, then takes off again, you get yourself a head and shoulders. And it's a monster one. You know, so that would be saying that it would take out the highs and go higher. Um, Uber. Uber came out with numbers this morning. Uh, market liked them. Then they are, Uber is doing an uh, investment day. As they're doing an investment day, they stopped, they halted the stock. And evidently, um, when they halted the stock, folks, what they were saying is that, you know, the, the, he's going to, they were speaking, and the market's not believing that they're going to basically do, um, you know, Uber's out. Ambitious outlook for 2024 leaves market skeptical. That's, that's what's going on. So um, the, the stock got halted for a few minutes. Uh, you know, none of us knew what was going on. But then right away, what you saw out here is that uh, they were doing a live presentation. And um, they expect some good things. You know, bottom line is that the, break, the great breakout is happening, folks. Okay. People, you know, the Omicron went across. Everyone seemed to get hit with it. Thank God that it wasn't as bad as the Delta and the prior one. And, and it's unfortunate that yeah, people still passed away. Uh, but, you know, the bottom line is that the breakout is on right now. That's, that's what it comes down to. And I expect you're going to see this going right through the spring. We're going right through the summer. And uh, we're going to get back to life. Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 530. The Nasdaq's off 312. S&Ps are off 82. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is down 569. Nasdaq's off 328. S&P's off 88. And yes, there's been no bounce. Uh, let's go bring bring this S&P back once again. You only have 15 minutes here, man. So this is uh, not looking good, that's for sure. Um, okay, so we got an expansion of volume last uh, 10 minutes, but... We'll see if we get the rejection of price. It doesn't look like we're going to get it. You have 15 minutes left, um, you know, and what does happen is that when you get a bounce like we had this morning, it's like, okay, you get a lot of people that are trapped up there because they figured once again it's going all the way up. Yeah, you're down 91 right now. Inside the Dow Industrials, let's take a look at the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow Industrials point-wise. Only stock that's putting positive points inside the uh, Dow Industrials is again. Disney putting 31 positive points, Boeing 17, Coke 1, taken away from it. Uh, United Health minus 70, Home Depot minus 70, Microsoft 67, Amgen 61. Inside the MDX 100, the three Qs, what do we got happening? You got, uh, let's see, so... Micron is up 2.5%. You got uh, O'Reilly up 15%. Um, CGEN is down 11.5%. Sirius Satellite is off uh, 8%. AMD is off 56 And Autodesk is off 5.64. You got big numbers there. Now, let's go over to Boeing and take a look at Boeing because Boeing is getting pretty interesting, actually, folks. So, you're up $2.85. It made it to 223 today. Let me show you this thing, how this is set up, though. This is going to get interesting. Let me see. I'll put it on a three-year weekly first. And what you're going to see is that I like the setup. The reason I like the setup is this, is that we have a high-volume bar, $278. You can see what I just did if you're watching Tiger TV. The bottom line is that you had a trend line, and that trend line, okay, this, you know, Boeing's been going down forever. I mean, it, you know, the pandemic low was uh, out there at uh, $89. And uh, then what ends up happening is that it uh, goes all the way up to 269, the 276 rather. And then you can go lower. And you can see when you went lower, okay, we've had a contraction of volume in a big way. Well, it was last week that it finally picked its head up. That's the bottom line. That's saying that, guess what? That high volume spike is game right now in order to basically go after. That's, that's how this is set up. The numbers, this is what polling's looking at. So that's technically. The fundamental numbers are pretty intense. What Boeing is claiming is that they did 62 billion this year. They're claiming that they're going to do 83 billion next year and 93 the next year. Now, if that's the case, you're going to see some real action inside Boeing. I mean, it's not pre, 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 pre damning <laughs> numbers, okay? Because that they were at 101 billion, okay? But the bottom line from 62 to 83, yeah, is not bad. They're going to bring. They lost nine dollars and 44 cents this year. They plan on making $4.10 next year. Um, oh, that's what, that's what ended up happening. We were talking Disney. Yeah, but I can go back to Disney. 
right before I put Fred on. Okay, so Disney. Disney came out with numbers, impressive numbers, particularly because the streaming went up so dramatically. And when we take a look at this revenue, you know, these parks aren't in full place yet. And they're going to be. You know, Disney did... This year, they did $21 billion. They brought six to the bottom line. Um, right now, you're trading at one fifty one seventy five. You got to the first swing. The first swing out here is one sixty one sixty fifty two. You, tr you traded at one fifty seven, and you're gonna have plenty of volume. So now, what's gonna happen, with Disney, is that you're pushing a swing, and you're pushing it on volume. Hasn't broken its downtrend yet. Okay, you can see this pretty clearly. That, well, we'll see how the end of the week is. Actually, this is pretty cool, actually. If I get this on a weekly, if we can close here, if we can close in, yeah, if you close here, the bottom line just broke the downtrend. And that's saying that Disney's game up to that 187. That's how this baby's set up. Um, you know, it came back. Now, this is cool. So watch what it did here. The gap, the gap on Disney was 147.68. It came to 129 on a weekly, rejected it, and then closed at 138, and the gap was 128. So you can see what happens here. You came down, came down to the gap, went by the gap, by the end of the week, you had rejected lower price and was above the gap. That's a full close of the gap, folks. And that's why I explain to people that gaps are so dangerous when, picture this, you know, Disney's at 203. What are the odds you think you tell someone it's going to go to 128 when it starts turning? Trust me. It's, I've been doing this long enough that every time I look at these gaps, like, man, that can never get filled. Well, I don't say that anymore because I know they do get filled, okay? Particularly, this was a big gap. That gap there went from 128 to 134. It's a decent-sized gap. The cool thing is, guess what? It's filled. Now it's repaired. Now it can get to higher price. Netflix. We're going to take a look at Netflix out here. Netflix right now is trading down uh, $9.95. And let's put this on a weekly... Mm, let put. Let's see. There we go. Okay, so oh, this still has a high volume high low. This is a little trouble. So Netflix still has a high volume low at three fifty one, and I suspect that'll get tested. You can see it went into the breakout area with sixty five million, but yet we had eighty million and you had ninety six million. Uh, that's that's an equity that will want to test that low. That's how that baby uh, is set up. You never want to see these high volume lows lay out here. Well, so much for this uh, bounce out here. Uh, you get the S and P's down 100 right now. Nasdaq is down uh, six, no, 366. You get the Dow down uh, 653. And let's just go look at the Dow and see where we are at right now. Okay, so we. We've been up 653 in three days. It's not the end of the world. The volatility is here, though, right? That's, that's the bottom line. That's what you have out here that folks are not used to. There's no two ways about that. The volatility is in spades. If we go look at the diamonds, we were talking about the diamonds yesterday. They had taken over the uh, B point, didn't have the volume. Yesterday, you made a high with 4.7 million. You took out the 8 million. Today, you're coming down at $9 million. Now, what's going to save this market once again is going to be the trading folks from the 26th, the 27th, and 25th, 26th, and 27th. That's what you want to be looking at, okay? Um, those, those, how we came off the bottom, that is where... We should really find some big, big support, particularly, folks, on a, on a Friday coming down into that area because the volume will die down. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free! Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is down 579. You get the NASDAQ off uh, 329. SP's off 87. That's a downdraft of 2.2% uh, in the debt. NASDAQ, 1.9 in the SPs, 1.6 in the Dow. And uh, I mean, the. Uh, e Sorry, folks. Sorry about that. 2.2 in the NASDAQ, 1.9 in the SP, 1.6 in the Dow Industrials. And it looks to me that, yeah, we are going to close at the. Lows and you're not going to get a bounce. We take a look at the spy. So let's look at these how these are set up. So you're going to have, if you're a council charting person, what you have here is that this is going to be a bearish engulfing. No, no, it's not. It's going to, I see, it's going to be, not going to be a nothing actually. It's not even a shooting star. So what you have is this you're, you're going against strength. And I suspect coming into the end of the week, bottom line, you get Friday. Uh, we can go right against where we went topside on the 31st. Uh, that's kind of how this is, is laid out. Now, let's see what kind of a bounce that we did thus far, just to see whether. So off one leg, you did more than a 0.618. That's off the leg that was established out here on the, the 13th. That leg on the way down from the 13th. So that's a bounce saying that you are not going to go break the lows. When you do more than a 0.618 retracement, folks, off a leg, your probability is much higher that you don't go break it. Now, this is interesting, man. And the second one is a full, is exactly, so check this out, man. This is pretty cool. That 
the retracement from the, from the highs to the low is exactly at 0.618. And we've been up there three times. You're up there on the 2nd, let's say, 2nd of February. We're up there yesterday. We're up there today. That's a decent setup, man. That's saying that, yeah, we can get down to this. The SPY can get down to this uh, 442. You're at 449. That's still a decent setup. That's still saying you're probably going to try to get to the highs once again. Wait, wait. My take... Longer term, this is going to be a big, big consolidation. And um, the volatility, you're going to see this volatility for, you know, quite some time. Volatility just doesn't go away. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God, there's always another trade. Have a great night. Have a safe night, folks. Come join Tommy tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock. Great show. Look at him.